morning ladies and gentlemen of Meansy69 welcome back to the channel today we are going to have a look at the T54 lightweight yes the Russian light tank which was uh, the only Russian light tank uh, pretty much apart from the of course the uh, LTTB and stuff like that but it was the only Russian uh, tier 8 light tank in the game but that was before obviously wargaming got the lt432 into the game so what's this tank like because now it does have the uh the hd models as well the turret looks a little bit different um basically it is like a t54 a tier 8 t54 um but it's uh it's a light tank and i, I wasn't really a lover of this tank to be honest i thought it did struggle a little bit um but it's not so bad if you play it like a light tank or like a medium tank um it, it isn't so bad now it isn't so bad uh so the turret it has 160 millimeters of, of turret armor which isn't bad for a light tank in tier 8 and it has 80 millimeters of frontal hull armor again not too bad so the armor for a light tank is actually okay for the t54 lightweight not bad at all um damage per minute 2183 now we are running it with calibrated shells uh because i think the penetration does struggle with this tank um so i am running it with the calibrated shells with the calibrated shells uh the penetration 184 millimeters with 247 on your apcr now if you don't run it with calibrated shells we are only looking so yes we're getting sort of 2300 but you're only looking at 175 millimeters on your ap and 235 on your apcr so not great if i'm honest uh damage average damage 280 on your ap 240 on your apcr and 350 on your he aim time not great at 3.7 uh, not good at all if i'm honest and the dispersion is 0.335 and it does uh it does only have five degrees of gun depression but it does go 69 kilometers per hour so yeah stat wise it, it's not great if i'm honest looking at the the, the damage per minute isn't the, the best um penetration really isn't isn't great at all and of course with only five degrees of gun depression you do struggle but with the 69 kilometers per hour that is pretty nice and you need to use that mobility because you haven't really got the penetration to deal with tanks frontally so of course you've got to try and get to the side of them and to the rear of them uh, to try and be effective now of course the tank looked good i do think the tank looked really good it just looks like a t54 if i'm honest uh um, and yeah, against tier 7, of course, it's uh, it's not a bad tank, but I don't think this tank is absolutely fantastic. The more I play it, the more I do sort of uh, like it a bit more. Uh, but again, it all depends on how you play the tank. You can't be so aggressive in the tank uh, because it doesn't have that DPM and it doesn't have that penetration so of course you do need support from your team uh your medium tanks your light tanks uh whatever you are whatever going with you um like here i do have support from a, from a tank destroyer here uh, sorry from a tank destroyer a bit behind and the panther here so we're looking forward we have now spotted the t54 lightweight and i'm assuming at first i thought maybe he's afk uh, but i'm assuming he is there on his own as uh, seeing as the most of the other tanks have gone to the right side so i do need to push and i'm trying to i well, want to push with my panther because of his dpm and um, with my dpm we can really sort of clear this t54 lightweight and because of that drift there we do manage to get a miss so he does miss us uh but you know i don't really want to be in front of his gun uh but we are because we are getting penetrated we're not getting any uh any block damage from this guy so i'm trying to move on now the panther is coming my way to help and we do managed to get the track into him brings him down now to a one shot i do manage to get a lucky bounce from him and we are going to take him out so you can see not too bad and that's a tier 9 medium tank like it's it, it's not the best tier 9 tanks uh but it's still it's still decent i mean it's not the worst i mean you can't pen that object 704 there in that position he's he's in so i'm not even gonna uh, try to uh, attempt to get him but we do have this emil one to our right so again uh the gun depression isn't great that's why we're going to have to sort of come up sideways against this guy 
uh, just to be able to get our gun down. Uh, but the whole line, of course, is this tank worth grinding? Of course it's worth grinding because the, the line for this now, obviously with the object and the uh, the T100, uh, re yeah, it, it, they're, they're good tanks. I mean, the object's not, the, I don't think, still the best. It's, it's not bad. I was probably a bit unfair on it on my original review. Uh, but yeah, the T, the, the light, the T100 is, is a fantastic tank and it's definitely, definitely worth grinding this tank. Uh, but you just need to be a, be careful because of the penetration and the DPM of the tanks is, is not great. It is quite low to the ground. So of course you can get under these uh, these guns of these big boy tanks like uh, the higher sort of like this KV here. You'd be able to sort of just show your turret against this guy. Um, but play correctly, you can actually have some decent battles and it's not that it's not the hardest tanks to, to ace, if I'm honest. As you can see there, only 2,300 damage, but we do manage to get a first class for that. Now, I do have a game on stream uh, the other day with my man CJ. This was actually on stream, and this is what made me sort of uh, review the tank, because I, I got asked to play the tank on stream, uh, and it's a tank that I don't really play, and it's a tank that I definitely haven't played since uh, it got the HD models. And do you know what? I was actually quite surprised at how much better this tank does feel um i used to never really when the tank first come out of course we liked the tank i liked the tank it was something new um but yeah you kind of got bored of it but it does feel nicer it does feel a lot nicer now driving it than it, it once was but the only thing sort of there are a couple of downfalls with the tank and again that is the gun depression only five degrees but you can get used to that no problem whatsoever um the aim time and the dispersion as i said is not great but but that shot there was uh, not too bad against the uh, the Amex Defender there. Uh, I was actually surprised I managed to get that shot. So yeah, you, you're not going to bounce too much. Of course, if you are in the certain, if you are in that situation where you can get behind a ridge line just to only show your turret, you can of course get some troll bounces on that turret because it's not bad for a light tank at all. But the hull uh, and everything else is not really that strong. And we are going to get shot here from the AMX Defender. There's twice and he's going to shoot us the third time now stupidly i do go out thinking he's reloading uh, i forgot that he's it's uh, it's got a fourth shell but now i know he's on a reload we're just going to chase this guy down now i'm sorry for the background noise you're going to hear a tractor go past me i'm at the side of the road just waiting uh, uh whilst recording this so we do manage to take care of the uh the defender now and again nice shot there into the pattern and some of these shots i am actually very surprised i'm hitting because it is a typical russian tank with the accuracy uh but yeah i've had a few nice shots this game already into these guys penning or even hitting not just penning but hitting uh tanks that i wouldn't thought i would uh, hit so i want to take this base i know we are two tanks up now uh, but I wanted to take that base because uh, just to put a little bit more pressure onto the enemy team and now I want to push forward I know that there is a TD up there somewhere the only TD the balls it because I do man I did manage to get a lucky bounce from him so now I'm just I want to isolate this M46 pattern of course he's a tier 9 tank uh, I'm coming from the right of him and there are other tanks sort of behind there you can see CJ there um, so I just wanted to isolate him but of course with the uh, balls there I do want to try to get rid of him as soon as possible and, and CJ, uh, lovely, beautiful shot there into him. So now, now that leaves this pattern here all on his own. And again, another little snapshot there, penning that I think didn't think would actually pen. So we are winning a five versus four. I'm still a one shot kind of, so I'm not sort of just rushing in uh, because the enemy do have a few heavy tanks that can just destroy me with one shot. But of course, because the pattern is here on his own, I'm not in a rush. We're winning on supremacy points. We're winning on tanks. So I'm just going to be patient. And that's something I'm never really am. I'm never patient. But patience always pays off. Well, most of the time does pay off. And we was patient this game. And definitely because we were patient, it has paid off. Now I can see the other two heavy tanks sort of to the right. I know this Action X is on his own. So yes, I'm going to take a shot. But we do manage to clear him. And all of a sudden, it just leaves this 50 TP. Who I'm thinking is going to clear the Yo. So of course, I'm not going to come out to the right. I want to get behind him to the left and we are going to bounce the uh, the side of him uh, being the uh, troll gun that this is but as soon as we're behind him 
he's going to focus on someone else and we are able to get the shot because he's just shot we know that we can get the uh, the next shot before he is uh, reloaded and we do take the kill so overall it's definitely a tank worth grinding because of the line that is uh, attached to it uh, it's not as good as some of the other light tanks out there of course because of the penetration the uh, the the gun depression, sorry, I was trying to think, is quite uh, is quite low, only five degrees. Uh, but you can still make it work with the speed. Uh, you can still make it work, and like I said, I'm running the calibrated gels on it just to up the um, just to up the penetration, and it seems to be working. It does seem to be working. And as I said, if you're patient in this tank, if you've got the support from your other mediums or light tanks, you can actually perform really, really well in this tank. So yes, overall, it's not a bad tank, and it's definitely, definitely worth grinding let me know your thoughts on the tank how what do you think of the tank do you, is it a tank that you've always liked is it a tank that you've recently liked um because of the uh the, the hd model and is it a tank that you're you're struggling with now uh because you're trying to grind the t100 let me know in your thoughts in the comments below so i hope you enjoyed the video guys i'm me 69 and i will catch you all soon bye bye We'll be right